I'm Devin Warner, and I did my marketing plan on the Tesla Model Z, which is the name of my new product, which it's kind of coincidental because just at 11 o'clock last night, Tesla actually unveiled their new Cybertruck, which if anyone has seen it, it's a uh, unique looking to say the least. So a little bit of background on Tesla. Their current products are the Model X, Model S, Model 3, Model Y, and the Roadster, which the Roadster actually isn't available to buy yet. You can only reserve it. But the X and Y are both like SUV type vehicles and the S and 3 are both four door sedans. And their current customers are mostly wealthy people with an average family income of around $143,177 a year. So it's a pretty wealthy market. It's kind of pretty close to being split between men and women. There's slightly more men, but it's also an older uh, customer range with a median age of around 54. And the SWOT analysis, uh, the strengths of Tesla, I would say, are its innovation. So if you've heard of their autopilot, and they're also environmentally friendly because they're all electric cars. And they're a rising brand. They are relatively new. They were only founded in, I believe it was 2003. And they're already as popular as they are now in a market that's extremely hard to build a brand in with, with vehicles. There haven't been really any new vehicle brands in the past, like, 20, 30 years. So they've really ro rose very fast. But some of their weaknesses are they're very expensive, even though they are actually operating at a loss. Tesla sells their cars for way less than it actually costs to produce them. They haven't made an actual profit since they were founded, which is pretty interesting. And they also have a small amount of production. You can only, there are only a couple locations where you can actually go and buy a car like it's a regular dealership and then leave with the car there. Most of the purchases people make are online and then you either have to go pick it up at a location or if you have an eligible address, they'll actually deliver it to you. But some of their opportunities are with what I am proposing is actually a minivan and they can tap into the family market. So those families, those wealthy families that have a lot of kids or they need a lot of room to transport things and they can tap into that family market. And then I think that they could emphasize more on their environmental friendliness because one of the things that Tesla is really popular for right now is just their technology, like the autopilot, but it's not as popular for it being electric and that it's how environmentally friendly it is. And the threats are other luxury brands like Mercedes, Porsche, Lexus, cars like that that are also expensive and meant for the luxury market. So my new product, the Tesla Model Z, is a luxury minivan. It includes Tesla's self-driving autopilot, ultra comfort seating for the whole family, and it's, of course, electric, eco-friendly. This is actually a concept that the website topspeed.com made that after seeing last night's reveal, I don't know if Tesla would actually make a car that looks normal anymore, but I don't know. Uh, the target customer would be mostly the same people, wealthy parents, men and women equally, and people that are environmentally conscious, they care about the environment, they want an electric car to reduce emissions. And so the price in place, like I mentioned before, it would mostly be online shopping. You'd order it online, you'd either go pick it up at the service center or have it delivered to you if you're eligible. And, or you could go to some of those showrooms and buy it there and leave with it there. And the price would be pretty expensive. I said around 70,000 to 85,000, but as I said before, a lot of times Tesla sells their cars for way less than it actually costs to produce them. So with this, I would say they would have to kind of change that where they would have to actually start making a profit even though they, their numbers have increased each year, they're still operating at a loss. But at some point that needs to flip or else it's not gonna last forever. And also that would depend on the options such as kind of interior options, whether you want leather or something like that, or you can get it with or without autopilot like their cars that they have now. So their competitors are kind of like what I said before, other luxury car companies like Mercedes, Lexus, Porsche, Lamborghini, 
but also with this new product there'll be other minivans so like the honda odyssey dodge brand caravan which are also a lot cheaper so it would be hard to try and get to that market that usually buys minivans but the advantages of it being a tesla are that it's a luxury brand for one it's a very like niche brand it's new and kind of the cool thing to have kind of like a hipster vibe to it and it also has autopilot it's a eco-friendly a lot of prestige it goes along with the brand and it has bigger seating greater seating so for the promotional strategy there's a little bit of issue but if i were because tesla's actual advertising philosophy is that they don't spend any money on their marketing they say that all the money that would be used on marketing goes back into the product itself. So it's kind of a really old sense of marketing that the product just speaks for itself. And a lot of that probably also has to do with it not really being in the budget because they're still operating at a loss. So they can't really start spending money on other areas when they don't have the money to do it. But if they were to do it, I would say that they would probably should probably just focus on online advertising like on car enthusiast websites like Top Speed, or have personalized ads like they do with data analytics now. You know, if you're looking up cars, if you've looked up Tesla in the past, you maybe have like a little banner on a website that you're on, something like that, because it's a pretty niche product. It's also well known for as little as non-existent of a marketing that they've had. Tesla is actually relatively well known for its little marketing, so if they came out with a new minivan, it, the word would probably spread pretty quickly through word of mouth alone. And that's it.